Yes. Well, the supercar. Now that I don't actually know. That's to be quite. Ah, that's, is that Stingray? It is Stingray. Yeah. Right, it is Stingray. Right, Fireball XL5 up there. Oh. Space 1999. Right, you know, love that. You know, believe it or not, to you know, obviously buying collectibles now is you know it. it it's big can, money. It is big money, and it can be a very good investment. Yeah. Um, but as I have a conversation with a lot of people that come in, you have to realise when to move your collection on and potentially yeah. start something new because lots of things like I'll do very quick. Like I don't know if you guys all know about Lado, a model of yesteryear. Mm -hmm. um, when I used to do the toy fairs, going back you know a couple of decades now, there was one called Arnold's Biscuits, mm. and it would exchange hands then yeah. for about twelve hundred pounds. Yeah. And it's about 17 now because it was time. It's so people who've invested in that sort of thing have invested a lot of money and potentially lose a lot. But so where, you do, you, where do you get to a point of where you sit there and you go, I mean, obviously you, you tend to, you, you look at trends, obviously you do everything that yes. goes with it. So where do you feel that um, you, <laughs> it's, it's a difficult one. I think what you need to do is look at the, lo the, the up to date trends and then have a look at what's coming in yeah. and what people do collect and what they don't yeah. collect. And then you can establish, like, to be honest, trains generally now are slowing down a little bit. Really? Um, what are we talking, any particular sizing here? Or? No, just, just generally because the people who are collecting are slightly older. Yeah. So um, they've sort of moved on or moving up to something bigger. So, yeah. Small boy pouring yeah. out the window, bless you already. <laughs> See, now this so, just yeah. goes to show you there's a range of, I mean, we have yes. toy shops in this area and the toy yes. shops just all sort of, well, they just disappeared. In the yeah, they time. do. Like you say, like you've gone through the consoles already. Yeah. Again, my experience in that is probably... But good as, pricing on the consoles uh, as well. I, I, I aim to beat just... anybody in town, as long as they can prove the pricing and they've got it in stock, I will beat their prices on oh, on everything funny. anyway. We price check against other you know, companies in, the, in Kings Lynn on a daily basis, and we do our best. So if someone comes in and says, Steve, this guy's have got it, this price, if I can have a look, look it up or whatever, I will always beat their prices. So you don't need a discount should... code for coming no, out here don't, if you've no. seen the video, you've well, just Well, we price check ours, we do it yeah. a couple of times a week, we go through everything um, and price down accordingly, you know. So we do our best for everybody. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been, been really good, been really good. But yeah, like I say, on the other side, Figures, Lego, you know, mini, the micro machines from the original sort of. Mm. Is that, are they original? They are original, circa oh. two thousand. Oh. They are those ones, um, and then your little oddments of little, you know, teenage mutant ninja turtles, the Smurfs. To, oh, I remember those. And even ones. Beanie Babies, which you've just gone past. <laughs> even Beanie Babies. And then we're back to back in, square one, yes. where we're talking of. <clears throat> but it is. It's just. I mean, it's an amazing store. You've I, been uh, in the town for. Uh, quite some yeah, I've been in the town. Really have. You've uh, ten, eleven three, years now. Three, four different stores that you've yeah, gone through. Yeah, yeah, I've gone to small ones and expanded, sold, and then started again. Um, but yeah, but you've always really come back good. with more force. I yes. was going to say you you started yes. at a point and then you've just moved upwards and upwards yes. and upwards, and this is just yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Going going back to where you sort of need to know where your market is. The gaming side is obviously there. Um, again, in my experience that the, the purchase of physical games is, is decreasing a little bit that's um, a horrible thing it I is that horrible because it's, i mean it's it, it bungs a console the other, up and yes. if you've got the, i'm still <clears throat> of an age where physical there's a lot of yes. people at a certain age that just go actually keep it on massive great big hard drive in my opinion that hard drive hits the floor you've got a problem yeah, in, so physically yeah. is always the one All, that you always can the other thing there's two things to that as well firstly is if you buy a game for say 60 pounds you don't like it yeah at least you can say get 40 pounds 30 pounds back where you can't on a digital yeah. secondly if everybody goes digital yeah. the companies can then dictate the prices then we have no choice so if for example they said right everyone it won't happen now just yet but if they say in 10 years time everyone's dis digital mm -hmm. Right, with the games are now £100, you yeah. have to pay that or you don't have the game. So we need to be very careful on what we do and we, we need to sort of look after ourselves, to be fair. But yeah, it's good, it's good. The store's going really well. It's had I've had so many compliments. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, to be quite honest, great, what know, isn't it here that isn't good to compliment? Yeah. It just has literally everything. We do our best, we do our best. You know, we don't get it all right, but we listen to what people want. You know, like the Doctor Who side of it, I've got lots of that in for people because I've sold, you know, had the requests. So what, I do listen to people. You do realise I'm just sitting here looking up from my own computer. Yeah, I know, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> like obviously, computers. Again, obviously with the, the other shops I've had, I had a bigger the game. It was just a game shop pretty much. Um, but I thought I'm going to bring introduce a little bit and then, you know, but very selective what I sell rather than 
everything that you can buy in obviously yeah. which wouldn't sell or isn't as popular i'm trying to be a bit a little bit more specific and the quality has to be right oh yeah you know if anything's slightly damaged I, I don't entertain it because i don't want that to be what yeah, I'm about. I mean, it needs to be, you come to a, a professional store it needs to be spot on so well if i do a yes. walk so what yeah, i'm, do I'm just going to do a quick yes update walk around and obviously if you no want to go back through the video and see it again watch it please leave comments for this gentleman here, Steve's a brilliant bloke to work with, and to be quite honest with you, it, the stuff that he's got in here is just, it, it keeps coming back. Yes. I've never walked into this place and pretty much seen the same stuff in the same place ever. He's constantly on the move with every single thing. Everything is noticed. Everything is in literally immaculate condition. It's worth the time. Well, first of all, awesome. before I go much, thank you for no allowing problem. us to sit there Anytime. Anytime. and Anytime. I'm just going to do a walk round so no that worries. you can just have another quick glaze. No problem, I will leave you to it. Thank you very much, sir. No thank you for letting us do it. No worries, no worries. So, yeah, an absolutely brilliant place to be. It really, truly is. It, uh... Sorry that my face is so close, but I will there you go, I'll do it from this distance. But it is just there's nothing here I think that's missing. You that you just can't Yeah, there's there's just so so much here. I could go into Norwich and I could find a shop that's got half of this. And this man has just decided to locate in King's Lynn so that he can sit there and he can just do the best for the area and this is a store that every time I go past you just you always see someone looking it's just one of those places that you always 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 see someone looking at the store which is one of the reasons why I asked this gentleman very very nicely whether he'd let me just do an in-depth video as we're walking around so that you can actually see for yourself just exactly how much stuff he's got. Oh, I didn't actually realise that was a monkey's one. <laughs> he shows me. Right, so with everything that you see here, it really is the place to be. If you're looking for, especially for gifts, for Christmas, I mean Christmas is always around the corner, no matter what time of year it is, it's always around the corner. So if you like this video, please do me a favour, subscribe, leave your messages. I'm sure Steve would love to know them. He's going to be watching as well. And just thank you very much for taking the time to sit there and actually look at our video. And I'll see you again. And then with that, that's me. We're Steve here. That's Susie650. Signing out. If I'm not mistaken, that's a whole lot of video that has <laughs> just recorded.